our pledge is, I said on that Friday night, 20 June 2008, I said our pledge is, we shall remain excited and eager about possibilities. We shall remain confident and assertive about our capabilities. That's two years ago, eh? We shall remain realistic and balanced in our expectations. The, the uh, soccer youth or sports youth initiative, which will be linked to uh, the soccer center, the soccer academy, in fact, that will, to a very large extent, link with schools and with youth and with people with disabilities. And we're not going to have soccer training only and skills training. We'll obviously look for talent to beat the Dutch in future. And, and uh, oh yes, Brazil, Brazil will, will beat in any case. Argentina will beat in any case. So we, we're going ahead with cooperation and with um, development and with transferring our knowledge and with em empowering communities and with transferring skills, life skills and so on, creating opportunities for access and success. So this is the green, but the yellow is we must warn ourselves and be warned not to become complacent. After the World Cup bubble last has ended on, on Monday, uh, then uh, we should not fall back into old habits and, and looking just after ourselves. We should try and build also on the social, um, uh, social uh, results of this process in terms of uh, working harder for social cohesion and for uh, cooperation and development and all of those. But there's a warning. And finally, self-interest must get a red card. Self-interest must get a red card. We are not here for our own sake. And I'm not doing this work for my own sake. What we should be trying to do is to invest our time, our energy, our efforts, our abilities uh, for future generations. Um, so what better way of starting to groom our young people from a younger age where they can actually, all racial groupings can come, come, can come together and really I and I um, and put together a team such as the Ghan Ghanaians, they've got actually a vision called 2018. And the 2018 strategy is that they are preparing themselves to win the World Cup in 2018. Now we as South Africa, and particularly Stellenbosch, I would like to just inspire us to a vision that Stellenbosch can actually have a couple of players in the Bafana team in 2018, if not 2014. And this is a foundation that we can lay in this region of ours, which is the Cape Islands area, the Boland area. On behalf of the greater Stellenbosch and all its residents, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the university on the launch of the State of the Arts uh, Soccer Centre to be based here at Lentilis. I would also like to thank the university for showing its commitment to the future of our children by investing its resources in a worthwhile project such as this. From our side <coughs> as municipality, you can be assured of our continuous uh, support and our commitment to work with you in ensuring that this centre reaches its full uh, potential. It is indeed for me an honour to be addressing you here today on behalf of the Western Cape Minister of Cultural Affairs and Sport, Mr. Sakutzela. It is indeed at occasions such as these that we see the value which partnerships can play in establishing social cohesion within the province and making sure that our children are given an alternative to the issues which face our communities on a daily basis. Within the Western Cape Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport, we know that our children need an alternative, and sport, ladies and gentlemen, indeed fulfills that role. Our president has said that sport can build a nation and I think it's so important um, not, only, not only sport but the tool that we use for sport to develop 
uh, people not only in terms of playing football but also in terms of be, be, becoming um, citizens and be, uh, being able to not at the end of the day just concentrate on football but getting something out of football to make them better people as well. I wish I was a few years younger with regards to the facilities. Um, I never had the opportunity but I think it's awesome that the opportunity can be there for the community because as the director said previously, you build a community first before you build a club, before you build a province, before you build a, a region and a nation. And it's so important that the kids have the best of facilities so that they can be able to nurture. You know, we, we see a lot of our South African football players being so skillful and, and technically so good. Uh, with not having proper facilities, but this will just take it to a different level. As we see the kids behind us, very excited uh, to be playing on, it, on, 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 a, on a pitch like this. And you know, when you come here, you just want to go there and do your best. And there'll be more kids and more kids running around. And I think it will make for not only a better um, Stellenbosch, but a, a better country as well.